Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. Yes, it's not an airsoft video. That's purely because two of my babies, they're, they're, they're in the hospital, the gun hospital. No, basically my saw, my M249 still not ready from patrol base. They're going to be doing some goodies on it, but they want to record it first before I get my grubby mitts on it. And my other one, my Warthog, I'm actually having some goodies put in there and I probably will do a video on that. And I've got Dave up at patrol base, he's done me a lovely, lovely little respray. Looks delicious. Anyway, but I will be doing a video on that, so no airsoft videos until the next one, and I'm probably looking at doing them all, but I'll explain to that what it is. So what's this train nerd? All about the train nerd! Yeah. Do you know what? I, I've had this in my Steam library for quite a while, and I, I tried it, and there's something very addictive about it. It's a little bit like Euro Truck Simulator. You can't quite put your finger on why it's addictive, why it's enjoyable. You would think that this would have even less than your truck simulator, because at least with that you get to steer and this and that and that. But it's actually once you get into it and you start to be able to read the, the, the train signs and things like that, there is quite a lot in here. And the difficulty from keeping on time um, to long haul across the country with coal and stuff like that, there is quite a lot. And obviously they're going to be updating it soon. But anyway, before we get into that, many of you may know I love my gadgets. And as you can see, it's rather blue. Well, with a click of the fingers, I can have it green, or we can go Barry White and have it red. Yes, I'm controlling this from my phone. Philips Hue, you're genius. Can't stop playing with the bloody thing, and I've got it all in the house and attached to Alexa, so now I just go, Alexa, make me look sexy. And it changes all the lights, and I can change them on and off, and all that good gubbins. But anyway, let's jump in and have a look at Train Simulator, and we'll do a little, little tiny little 10 minute run. And I'll talk you through what I've learnt and show you how easy or stroke difficult or nerdish or what the fuck are you doing para-ish it can be. Welcome to Train Simulator 2016. All about the rain. Okay, so here we are. This is the... I'm going to pretend what I know I'm talking about now. This is a Class 450 EMU or EMU in the trade we call them and it's from Southwest Trains. Today we're going to be taking a 4 class car 450 unit from working to Guildford to be used in the Ascot shuttle. I haven't got a clue. All I know is, let's get in the damn thing. Give me that water. Now I couldn't find any Yorkshire water today at Morrison's, they didn't have any in. Sold out, obviously. So I've got some Yorkshire Vale. No, I'm not advertising them. Although if they want to sponsor me, they can do. Scratching my nose. Trust me at. Let's get in this bad boy and let's get bloody going. So the first thing we've got to do is let's get in the train. First thing we've got to do is pick up the guard at the end of platform five before heading out, heading out to Guildford. So here is our beautiful train. And yes, you can control everything from in here. Boy, I'm quite newbish. I'm getting used to the game, so we're not going to do that just yet. So let's get this into gear. And we're just going to set off gently and of course you can do all this you know with the actual proper controls and i've seen nerds actually having joysticks and things like that but anyway let's get going and i'll explain to you a little bit of what i've learned along the way so at the minute as we're coming out of a side road in towards this station maximum speed for us at the minute is going to be 15 miles an hour which is fine it's all gentle and there we go and with this train it's actually set so that the accelerator and the brake are the opposite each way. So we're just going to coast it in a little bit. Now two double yellow flashing lights means that there are four blocks ahead. Each train is done in blocks so that you don't hit each other. There always has to be a gap between the blocks. So it's telling me that it's actually clear and the signal up ahead you'll see the white, uh, the yellow single flashing light means the next block is also clear. Now down the left you see it says 40. That is if we're actually on this track and we're going to be going over we're leaving the main track the diversion off Maximum speed is 40 miles an hour, so that there is actually no derailments. Now, the actual speed limit has gone up to 90, but we're going to be stopping at this station. I'm just going to give it a little bit of juice and bring this down as we're going to be stopping here at working five as we actually pick up the guardsman for the train. And down here, you can see this is the end of the platform. And we've got three carriages behind us, and this is the distance to the next set of signals. And there's the guardsman, there he is. 
So we're going to start bringing the speed down now before we get to the end and I'm going to stick my fat will give you this view instead. I think we've got plenty of yeah we're fine, we're fine. So there we are, we're coming in, coming to a stop now. The guard will get on board and he will take control of this, but for now I'm actually going to open the doors so that the pled passengers can get in and out and the guard will actually take control of this in future now. After I've opened the doors he will deal with closing them. So there we go, we're now going to wait. And as you can see down at the bottom, this is how far ahead the actual next set of signals are. Times penalty, nice. And this is the actual speed limit. And this actual line here gives us an idea of the actual gradient. We're actually completely on the flat here, so we don't need to worry about braking and things like that. So the doors will shut now, the guard will close the doors. There we go, and it's time for us to head out. So, let's get this moving. Now, I've actually reduced the graphics quite a lot here, purely for the current pauses. is actually 90 but as you can see here at some point we're going to be reducing to 60 to 40 so I'm not actually going to be putting it down here and that is the AWS the automatic warning system that's telling me to be aware of the net set of signals and as you can see here one yellow light which means prepare to slow down take it as a warning basically so I'm going to reduce our speed here because although it's 60 you can see the 40 is very very close here this is to stop the train actually derailing and damaging the wheels when we go around the corner. So we're actually, I know now we're actually going to be banking left here. So I'm going to keep that speed nice and slow as we come around here. And the next set of signals is a 90, so now we're actually around here I'm going to increase power. This red light doesn't concern us. That's for the track on the left. There is actually just coming up a symbol for a 40, so I'm going to keep this down. Obviously if we were taking left there we would have been doing 15 and vice versa around there, but it's not as concerned as that one, I just wanted to make sure there's no jiggery pokery going on. So we're going to put this on full hoof now. Now that was the automatic warning system, a little magnet that goes on the bottom of the track. The fact that that beep means that it's actually clear, just go for it. No, nothing to worry about, even the one after is perfectly clear. As so if they beep, you can carry on eating your pop noodle, looking at your sun and paper, and having a ham tank. Tommy tank. Right, here we go, let's just have a look at our train as we get past, gotta keep an eye on the speed. system again telling us that we can crack on and can I believe that Para is actually doing a train video you fucking nerd it's one of those games it's just in, it's just enjoyable once you actually get into the other scenarios like the coal yard stuff and the moving freight around it's very much like you're a truck simulator there's, there's just as much in it that symbol there doesn't mean national speed limit it means that we're clear to proceed straight through the station if it was horizontal we would have to stop in some cases you can't even enter the station. Uh, but I'm going to keep the speed up now. Looks like there is a slight gradient here as you can see up at the bottom. So we're going to need a little bit of power. It's down here. We are expected at 11.54 or 9. We're actually running slightly late here. So we need to get a move on. Let's keep on. There is actually a sand option here. That's uphill or downhill if you need help, you know, getting grip. AWS telling it's all clear and actually on screen I can see what looks like two yellow lights which means uh, um, it, 
actually means the block after this block, the one one after, um, currently we will have to stop. So it's giving you like a, a warning, a pre-warning, the AWS is probably going to go off, there we go. The automatic warning system, if we don't abide by that and press that button, actually on the train, the automatic brakes will come on because there is danger up ahead. As you can see there is one flashing yellow light, which means that the signals actually changed from the previous one and we can actually keep going faster. Now the AWS is going to come on, but it looks like we're going to be dropping down to 20 miles an hour at some point, so I'm actually going to start reducing the speed now. into Guildford Platform 2. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to reduce now. That symbol on the left, there's an actual name of it. It actually means slow down. You don't want to be going over that real speed limit because there is a sharp banking coming. So we're actually doing too much here. So I'm just going to shave this speed off as we come back, come past the Holiday Lodge, was it? We're starting to bank now. We're coming around, and we've actually got one yellow light, so we're all right here. And we're going to be dropping down to 20 miles an hour at some point. The AWS going off to warn us, so I'm going to shave a lot more off here. And as you can see, it's already set the signals up for us. Warning: be prepared to slow down, and we're already know that we're going to go up to platform two. So I'm shaving all this speed off now. There we go, we're down to about 20. Down to about 20, so we've actually come in a little bit earlier. We are clear to proceed. There we go, on this actual platform here, the double reds are basically saying, warning, stop here. Let's just get a little bit of speed, as we know we're going to be dropping to 20 as we come round here. On to Guildford Platform 2, and we are running a little bit late, ladies and gentlemen. If you can just bear with us, we have actually got an airsoft conference here at Guildford, so the trains are absolutely packed. A lot of people, a lot of people wanting to get Paris autograph while he's here, ladies and gentlemen, so please do bear with us. If you're fit and got large breasts and you do keep fit three times a week, please come up to the driver's cabin and I'll give you what for. So here we are, we're coming into Guildford 2. Onto the platform now, nice and slow, 11.5509 as you can see up there, which is wrong. It's probably what they would do. into the station, nice and gentle. We're going to start taking the rest of that speed off now. And there we are. Guildford Station, ladies and gentlemen. Mind the gap. Fucking fill the gap. Right. So there we go. We're going to open the doors. And if we actually have a look here. You can see the plebs coming in and out, and this is the stop area, so we can actually move off now until that is finished. And if I bring that up, we're going to be moving to Guildford 2. No, we're not. That's where we currently are. And we've got instructions from the signal box. It wants us to cha change ends and wait here until I can find a gap in the services. Be ready to head back out to the approach line north of the station, where you will receive further instructions. Okay. So the doors are going to close now. So what we're going to actually do is, as we get in here, we're going to swap ends by the power of magic. There we go. So he actually wants us to wait here, uh, but be prepared, prepared. Be prepared. There we go. Not enough Yorkshire water. Be prepared to move north. So what we can actually do is here. We want to be heading this way, which is north, and our current task is going to be to stop at the Guildford platform six seven which is here and this is our current position. So the only way for us to get there is to reverse back down here all the way back up to this point and then when we reverse we will reverse in here because they've already changed the tracks and you can actually change these and flick them across which of course I'm not going to be doing because we've also got the signal box to do that for us. So we're just going to move up ever so slowly here. If we cross that red light 
we are fired, sacked, and in jail. So we're going to have to be very careful here. AWS, which is warning me that there is a red light here, which I am fully aware of. Now, I've had to reduce the graphics quite a lot, as, as I mentioned, for recording, which is a shame because it is really, really nice, is this game. Especially some of the DLZ one. And while it is, you know, a little bit dated, we know that the new version is going to be on Unreal Engine 4. And it's got heavy haul on it and all that sort of stuff. And it really does look fantastic. So as you can see, let's just stick our radar out of the train door. Have a little look. Looks like it's another, was it a 450 EMU? Was it a 480? I'm not even sure. And here we wait. Nothing more we can do now until the signal box actually gives us a signal to move off. Um, and as I mentioned, we are going to be coming out of here. I think that's us here. We're going to be coming out of the platform here, through here, back up to this point. So the back end of the train is up to the top here. And then when we reverse back, the signal box will have changed these so that we can come straight back out. A lovely job of it. So we're still we're sitting and waiting. Nothing else we can do. It may be that we're going out after that train has actually already departed. So how did you get into this game then Para while we wait for the lights? Well, I like quite a lot of simulation games. One of my favourite ones is actually Farming Sim, believe it or not. It is. Love that game. And just as much as you know, I've always wanted to be a farmer. I've got the accent for it. But it's just an absolutely fantastic multiplayer game. We used to play it all the time, we had our own server. You know, one of us in the Combine Harvester, one of us going around with a trailer. Um, it's just really enjoyable, there's lots to do, you know, spraying the fields and all this. So, there is a game coming up called um, Cattle and Crops. Can't wait for that game, I'm already back at that game. It looks like Farming Sim 17, but a lot more simulation. So we're still waiting. I'm gonna get on that phone in a minute. Game you 450 at the Guildford Platform 2 it is waiting to move out. Any space on the next block? Bada boom, bada boom. And actually while we're waiting, let's talk about airsoft. The saws in being bastardized, shall we say, up at patrol base they're going to do their own video on what they're actually done to it like a before and after and of course I'm going to be doing my own version of it as well um, not quite sure what they're going to do with it I've just said soup it up and let me know how much it's going to cost so they're going to be doing that and the actual warthog as well is um, there we go we've got a green light to move off now so let's get moving we can uh, yes the actual warthog I'm having a new MOSFET put in it and Dave up patrol base he sprayed it for me. And the pictures that he sent me on what's, what's that look absolutely horrible. It was originally green, if you remember. Uh, but it sprayed black. Purely because my um, Octo Arms M4 is already like a kind of sandy colour, which is what we were going to do with him. But anyway, let's move off. So let's just get this speed under control. We don't want to be going over 15 here. As you can see, we are going to be moving here, and then as we reverse back, it will take us into that platform there. That's the plan, anyway. Let's give it a little bit of juice. Just a little bit more juice. And as you can see, there we go, it's turning away. Screeching its little head off. So, as soon as the back end of that train goes past this point here, it will never reverse. further up just in case it's this junction here yeah so I'm gonna to come to a stop about here and 
hopefully. Hopefully now, now that we're actually past that crossing point, we will be able to actually change tracks here now. I'm hoping that, that is what is available. We haven't had any further any further instructions from the actual signal box. So now I'm guessing this is going to take us on this new route here. now is going to put us in the right one for Guildford 6-7 which I think by the looks of it, it is let's give it a little bit of juice as we come into the platform and there we go, as you can see we're actually on the right track now let's knock that down as we're stopping at Guildford 6-7 and there was a 25 mile an hour after that I think this is the last stop so once we actually stop here, it's just been a really cheeky little little just a little sniffer. So where we go? We got a red light at the end, didn't we? So as we come in, nice and slow. I'm actually going to start putting the brakes on now. Shave some of that speed off. Perfect for the red light. Come on, down you go. There we go. Open the doors. I suppose really in an ideal world, those people when I was on the other platform too, was it? They could have just got the bridge and walked across. But here we're obviously in real life this train will probably continue on down this track here. But anyway, I think that's gonna be the end of this scenario. Well done, we got there eventually. Another driver will be operating take a break so let's just see how we did here we actually did get one star by the looks of it or did we there's no bar there it doesn't actually tell me so we did get done for speeding and we were late by 38 seconds bastard but that is train simulator for you and it's actually quite enjoyable consider it if you like your uh, euro truck simulator and games like that i, I think this is is fun especially when you're moving around logs of coal and stuff like that and it's kind of one of those games where it's satisf satisfying to be able to complete it and all the different scenarios and uh, it's just enjoyable it's like you're a truck simulator you can't really put your finger on why you enjoy it and why people enjoy playing it and there are so many trains and tracks and then and all sorts that give it a look give it a go see what you think there is a there is a new version coming out so why not why not? I mean, there are so many trains and stuff, and I haven't got everything, but, you know, something in there for everybody. But in the meantime, I've been Paraplays. I shall see you in some airsoft videos coming real soon, no doubt. But this has been Train Simulator 2016. Thanks for watching, you fucking nerd. There's not water in this, you know. It's fucking gin and vodka. Ah, TTFN. <laughs>